Hello. Yes. Um, how much is this vitamin orange? Oh, this one is five dollar. Five dollar? Is it um energy drink? Yeah. Okay. Do I have any? Yeah, I take one. How much? What is the what is the price? <laughs> oh, no English. Okay. What is this? Duck? That's duck. Okay. But this is duck or, or pig? Pig? Okay. One, please. Yeah, chop, chop. Thank you. Twelve? Okay, can I can I do twelve? Thank you. We're gonna try some baby mangoes, why not? What's up guys? Welcome back to Hong Kong. Now today we're actually about to be exploring a local market. Now I actually had no plans on filming this today, but I just got stuck in a rainstorm here at the station where my bus just dropped me off and I stumbled across this market called the Nuao Chi Wan Market and it looks like a very local market a place where locals come and buy their fish their poultry but I also saw that they sold a little bit of clothes as well now as soon as I saw it I was like I had to turn the camera on and show you guys this place because well it's not touristic at all I'm actually a little bit outside of the city I'm staying in a place called Boom side here, I believe. So it's a bit far, but check out this view, guys. It is stunning. Doesn't matter where you go in Hong Kong, the buildings are massive, surrounded by beautiful, luscious green mountains, and the energy on the streets is always, it's always tough. A lot going on. Now, I'm actually filming a video of public transportation for you guys today. And as you can tell, there are many different types of public transport, double-decker buses, minibuses, uh, MTR subway line, which is located down underneath us. A lot going on. However, I'll have to show you more of that later on this week. But for now, let's explore this local market here in Hong Kong. Now, from the looks of it, I mean, down there they sell some clothing. It looks like the meats are up in that section, some flowers really really cool stuff i think this man wants some money thank you sir so yeah let's see what we can get our hands on inside of this market nuai chi wan market so yeah definitely a lot of like items you would use to cook i mean what is this a bunch of dry seafood oyster and fish sauces it looks like super vibrant place so one thing i'm realizing after traveling around the world is that you know pretty much every local uh produce market shopping market looks the same i mean you got areas where they sell spices where they sell uh, meats where they sell their fish everything is pretty well divided and down here is actually where the metro system is down in this direction but yeah look a little bit of everything you can buy pants shirts towels face mask let's actually dive on in here and see if we can't find you know a couple clothing items to purchase or something yeah place is awesome i mean look at all these beautiful I'm not even sure what they what what they're called exactly, but I believe they are. Um, oh man, what is that stone called? Jade, right? It's jade. Not too sure. You know what? I could actually go for a nice beverage right now. Let's see what we can get our hands on to drink. Oh, they got some Red Bull, orange. Hello. Yes. Um, how much is this vitamin orange? Oh, this one is five dollar. Five dollar? Is yeah. it um energy drink? Yeah. Okay. Do I have any? Yeah, I take one. Thank you. What is this one? Oh, this one, the coconut, coconut mango. Coconut mango. Oh, that sounds good too. Yeah, this one is nice, you know. That one's your favorite? Yeah. Okay, how much that one? This one is six dollars. Okay, I take that one. And this one? No, just one. I'll oh, do that one. Okay. What else do you sell? Is that? Do you have any famous Hong Kong snack? No, this one is just the money. Okay, yeah, but do you have Hong Kong snacks? Oh, Hong Kong snacks. Yeah, I, it's my first day. I want to try something. 
are so many. These are these are famous from Hong Kong. Uh, this one is from Indonesia, no Hong Kong. Oh, you don't have nothing from Hong Kong? No, this one is the Indonesia though. Oh, this, is this an Indonesian? Oh, Indonesian row. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Um, fancy. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Wow, very delicious. Thank you. Mango coconut drink. I wish they had the fans on in here. All right, let's try this one. So we're in the Indonesian section of the market. Ooh, let's try this thing. Reminds me of like those um, aloe drinks that we have in the States. Mmm. Wow. That is super delicious. Yeah. That's very good. Yeah. And it has the pieces of mango inside. Yeah. So this this market separated from this, this whole rose Indonesia row. Yeah. Wow. One day I want to visit Indonesia. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Lovely people, huh? So yeah, this is the Indonesian row of the market and yeah, it makes sense. Look, Fong Indu. I wonder if every um row in the market is just different cultures. I mean, look at some of these snacks. These are like wafers, strawberry wafers, chocolate wafers, all kinds of good stuff. We got coffees. Let's see. Oh no, this is an Indonesian road too. I wonder if this entire market is Indonesian. Interesting. Interesting place. Okay, that area looks a bit closed. Well, let's continue. Let's continue on and see what else we can find. I'd actually like to purchase one of these items. They look really nice. These ones here are 30. Let's actually see. Hello, sir. What is the name of these? Yeah. How much? What is the what is the price? <laughs> oh, no English. Okay. Thank you. I wanted to purchase one of those. So it looks like down here. Hello. How are you? All right. Well, um, she, she didn't want me going down there with the camera. I'm not sure why. But um, yeah, interesting market. Not a whole lot going on, but it is nice. You know what? Should we buy a shirt? I think I could buy a shirt right now. Interesting. I'm getting a lot of weird looks walking around right now with the camera. I mean, usually people are not are okay with it, but I guess here that's not the case. But the camera's gonna keep rolling. I'm gonna bring it to you guys how it is. So let's keep walking around. I'm sure we're gonna run into other lovely vendors, um, some other people that would be more than happy to show me around. Oh wow, look. I think these might be local Hong Kong snacks. Hello, sir. Hello. Are these Hong Kong snacks? Yes. Can I can I purchase some? Mm -hmm. I want. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I'm showing people Hong Kong. Oh. Can I buy some stuff from your shop? Oh. What do you recommend? Okay, well, I don't think he's gonna recommend anything. We'll keep on walking. Guys, they don't like the camera in here. But it's cool. Look, sewing shop. They don't like the camera in here, but it's okay. I'm gonna keep on rolling because I gotta show you guys the how a local market looks like here in Hong Kong. Wow, this is a beautiful like flower shop. We got another lady sewing here. So yeah, this is a big, this market's, I mean, a large mix of a little bit of everything. You got ladies sewing, flowers being sold, clothing being sold. So far, my favorite row is the Indonesian row. Definitely gotta go to Indonesia. People seem incredibly friendly. But man, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Like nothing, it's not like anything illegal is happening inside of this market. It just, they don't like the camera, I guess. So this here is the meat section. 
Oh, everything looks so fresh, so nice. And I love being back in Hong Kong because everybody, there is so much uh, pork. And I miss eating pork. Hello, sir. Hello. I miss eating pork. So um, yesterday I had sweet and sour pork, rice, all kinds of good stuff. Very nice. So yeah, very small. Only a few, only a few rows and not much else going on, but the market looks very nice. Definitely a local spot. Maybe that's why I'm having problems with the camera in here, but later on this week, we will make it to some more touristic places. I need to find myself a Mickey Mouse shirt like that because I do have plans on going to Disneyland later this week, but I refuse to buy a $70 shirt in Disneyland. I refuse to buy anything in Disneyland. I might even pack my own lunch, to be fair. But um, yeah, I want to show you guys Disneyland. So we're going, we're going this week. All right, well, let's move on out of here. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the local market. I hope you guys still can appreciate this video because I'm still showing you guys different cultures. And well, turns out that they just don't like the camera in here. So that's perfectly fine. We'll keep it pushing. We'll keep it pushing and we'll head on downstairs. Maybe downstairs we'll meet more friendlier people. But like I said, it could also be, you know, the language barrier as well. Um, maybe they're just not confident with the English. I've noticed that too a lot in a lot of places in the world. I mean, this isn't my first day filming. So um, most people, when they don't want to be on camera, it's not because they're bad or rude people. A lot of times it's because, well, they're just shy with the, with the English. I and mean, then sometimes they are rude but for the most part, it's the language barrier. And of course, not everybody wants to be on camera, so completely understandable. However, you guys know me. I don't just like to film people and not buy anything. I always, I always make big purchases when, I, um, when someone allows me to film or at least purchase something from their shop. And I always have no problem giving tips um, to those people who are extremely nice to me because that's how it should be, right? I mean, I don't like watching those other YouTubers when they go out to these markets and they record absolutely everyone and then don't purchase anything. I'm like, man, that's wrong. That's completely wrong. So, it looks like in here we got some, um, some fresh food, actually. Like, they got ducks and chickens hanging up. They got pork. Oh, man. I actually want one of these. Look at, look at how amazing this pork is. Hello, sir. How much? 25. 25? 55. 55. Oh, can I can I take one, please? What is this? Duck? That's duck? Okay. But this is duck or, or pig? Pig? Okay. One, please. Yeah, chop, chop. Thank you. Oh, that looks fire, yo. Don't play with me. That looks super good. So yeah, I think that's pork. That's all pork. And then these are duck, I believe. And then look, these are baby chickens, I believe. Very nice. Thank you. Just got myself some nice crispy pork. I know a lot of you guys watching the videos don't eat pork, but if you guys do eat pork, let me know. Would you guys mess with this? It looks fire. It looks super good. Thank you. Have a nice day. So, gentleman was extremely nice. We got some pork. All right. Now, I have a feeling that, um, well, I'm seeing a bunch of other pieces that are being sold for 25. So, hopefully we got the good price there because the price did say 25. Actually, you know what? He did charge me 25, not 55. He charged me 25. Yeah, he charged me 25, not 55. I heard 55. I think you guys heard 55 too. No, he charged me 25. So um, he did charge me exactly what it said on the on the screen. So in here it's like a fish market area. Oh, wow, everything looks so good. Wow, look at the squids. These are huge. We got a gentleman over here descaling the fish. Oh, these buddies are still alive and fresh. 
That must be horrible feeling, huh? Being put in a tiny ass little bucket like that. Yeah, the homies are suffering in there. So yeah, definitely a cool experience walking through here. They also have a bunch of fresh fruit as well. Wow, look at these tiny baby mangoes. Hello, sir. How much? 12? Okay, can I can I do 12? Thank you. We're going to try some baby mangoes. Why not? Oh. I think that's a lot. 12? No, less, less, less. Half. Yeah, that's too many mangoes. Half, half, half. A few, a few back. There, there, there. Yeah, that's nice. I've never seen a mango this small before. What are these? Oh, these pears. Asian pears, I believe. That's what those are. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. What a gentleman. Wow, that was a lot of mangoes, though. So 10, what is that? Um, $1.50 or so for a nice handful of mini mangoes that I'm definitely going to destroy once I make it back home. But yeah, everything looks really good. Look, they have some durian, pineapple, garlic. This market is beautiful. I really like this place. And it's a great spot to hide out from the rain because it's coming down extremely hard right now. Look at all the ginger, carrots. Nah, I really want to dive on into this pork. Don't think I'm going to let you guys... Um, or let this video finish without showing you guys this incredible pork that I just bought right now. Because that would just be wrong of me to do that. Oh, this lady's picking out her garlic. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go this way, actually. We'll just walk back around this way. I don't want to interrupt anybody doing their grocery shopping. To be honest, I wish we had markets like this um, where I live because all of the produce looks so fresh. Hello. All of the produce looks so fresh, so good. And sometimes you go to Winco or Albertsons or something like that. And, you know, the vegetables look tore up. And they want an arm and a leg for them nowadays. I mean, look, they got fresh eggs up here. What does a carton of eggs go for right now in Los Angeles? I believe last time I left there, they were like $7. I mean, Los Angeles is going through like an egg crisis. Wow, these apples look amazing. You know what? I'm going to get one of these. Hello, sir. Can I do one piece? One. Yes. Thank you. That looks delicious. Seven? What is, what is this one? What is this? Apple? Oh, okay. Whoa, look at the butterfly. Very beautiful. Uh, two? Four, six, eight. Thank you. That's eight, right? Oh, that's it. Okay, thank you. Oh. That butterfly was beautiful. Have a nice day. Okay, no, so. Have a nice day. No, for the most part, everybody's super friendly, man. It's just the, the people upstairs. I think the upstairs is the rough section of the market. All right, well, the rain stopped a little bit. Now, let's find a little area to prop ourselves up so that we can actually um, dabble. You know what, the rain has not stopped. I just, yeah, couldn't see it too well. It has not stopped though. But we're gonna prop ourselves up right here and we're about to dabble into this, um, this beautiful pork that I just purchased. Oh man, it's like, 
because that, I think it's because of the rain, it's also incredibly humid out here right now. Let me see how much we've been filming for now. 19 minutes, oh nice, not bad. Not bad for a little random adventure, right guys? But let me know, can you guys still appreciate a video like this or was it a bit dull? I just think it's cool. Um, guys, I make videos that I genuinely think are cool and I genuinely think this market is amazing. I mean, it's nice to see markets all around the world. It's the best place to get to know, you know, how the people go on about their day-to-day -day life. And this here is the crispy pork. You know what? I don't know if I should actually eat that like that. It's very cold. Yeah, you know what? You know what, guys? I don't think I'm gonna do this one right now. All right, let me do one little piece. One little piece. It is, it's pretty cold. Maybe you're supposed to go home and heat this up. I'm not too sure. But we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. That's some good stuff right there. Mm. Hella good. Anyways, let me show you guys the, the apple I purchased. Apple's fats. Look at that. Beautiful apple. And we got a handful of Bambi mangoes. So, you know what? I think this is what, this is gonna bring this little video to an end. Pretty much just gave you a tour of the little market. We experienced a little bit of the friendliness of the people upstairs. More, more so the Indonesian lady, she was super sweet. I wonder, um, there's a huge Indonesian population here in Hong Kong. I think Hong Kong is like a, well, it's such a melting pot of a city that the whole world can be found here. I also ran into a couple of Americans yesterday that I talked to on the streets who actually live and work here as well, so. This drink is fire. Ooh, 59 grams of sugar, bro. For one serving. So, definitely, this is the definition of diabetes in a cup. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna walk around a bit more and then hop into the train and head over to the city center and I'll see you guys again soon for another video from somewhere here in Hong Kong. Later, guys. You were always smarter. I was the one to tag the love.